Hey everyone, today we're going to be making an anvil stand. So it's been about a month since I made this anvil stand and I put on these hammer holders. I just cut off an old uh, mat bottle and they work, but I'm getting sick of them. They move around a lot. They're not the strongest and uh, they're, they're cutting up the, uh, the fiberglass handle. When I just drop them in there, they bounce around. Same with the wood one and I'm getting sick of it. So let's replace them. Thank <laughs> you. 
I never said it'd be pretty, but it works good. A lot better than those cut up cans did. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I have this set up and why I set it up this way. And for anybody wondering, my anvil is the NC Tool Knife Maker Anvil. And if you're wondering why I got that anvil, just look at the prices of vintage anvils right now. So looking at the anvil from where I stand, we can see that there's nothing here where I stand. That way there's nothing in the way of my legs when, I, when I'm in my normal working position because I've got enough of a gap right here to where I'm not bumping into it. And I keep all my, I've got punches over here. These are a bunch of just miscellaneous punches I've had. They're like concrete chisels and punches, but they work for now until I can make my own. And I've got a, a bending wrench down here. I keep, this is just a piece of quarter inch plate. And I use that to, for, it's a cutting plate. That way I can set it there. When I do the final cut with a, a hot chisel, I don't worry about dinging the face of my anvil because this one doesn't have a, a, a bench. Right down here, hanging up, I have a little metal ruler. Over here on my left, I have a four pound hammer. I don't know what brand it is. It's just a, a hammer head I found at a yard sale and I put the handle on it. Then I have my two pound ball peen hammer. This is Craftsman. And I have a two and a half pound S-Twing cross peen. And here to the far side of the anvil, we can see that I keep my wire brush here. This is, well, it's a butcher block brush, but it's got these big heavy duty steel wires on it. They last a lot longer than the uh, welding welding brushes do. Now if we look down here, I made a real simple tong rack. This is just 5 16th square bar, tapered on both sides and bent at 90. And it works great. It's just hammered right in. It's got a lot of vertical strength. I don't, I can load that thing up with tongs and not have to worry about it. I got a couple of bending forks right here. Those go in the vise, but that's the best place to store them. And as you can see, I need to start working on some tongs because I don't have that many. So overall, I really like this and I've, I've done some forging on it already and I'm really happy with it. So I got the idea from Chris Zepp at Make Everything um, where he fills it with sand because most of the other ones is just people bolting together four by fours or six by sixes and that works great, but it's not as heavy. This anvil stand here weighs about 190 pounds. So you, I, I added a lot of mass. And you'll notice I put pressure treated lumber on the bottom before two sheets of plywood. And that's because this garage has flooded before. 